Welcome to my channel. So I haven't made a video with this kind of setup in a while and I missed it because it's it's nice to just sit and talk and not have to worry about angles and aesthetics. I mean then again, when when do I really ever focus on aesthetics? Honestly, I just I'm not I'm not a, a an aesthetic YouTuber. I've I'm I'm okay with it and I've decided that it's better to to admit it then pretend like I, I can achieve that kind of that kind of look here as a content creator. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, this video is going to be about how, or let's see, it's gonna, why am I, what am I, okay, <laughs> okay. Astrology changed my life. And I don't want to sound super dramatic, but it did. A few years ago, I was just so fed up with not understanding why I was the way that I was. And I quickly started realizing that everyone is a little different. And that sounds obvious, right? Like, obvious everyone is different. But no, 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 no. Like, there are certain people with certain traits, and then there are other people with other traits. And then certain people mix well together while other people don't. And I started noticing that because I started working somewhere where there was just all kinds of different people from different backgrounds. And it was inevitable to notice all of these things. And I quickly just realized like, wow, there are so many different people out here. And I want to understand everyone. I want to understand why people do what they do, why they act the way they act, why they behave the way they behave, and why they think the way they do. And I just became obsessed with understanding more so than ever before because I was already kind of like that. And it's because I'm a Scorpio. And I didn't really understand that until I learned about astrology. When I learned that I was a Scorpio, literally everything about myself that I was fighting to accept, just it suddenly just became, it just became routine. It just became a thing that I had to accept and be okay with and find the power in. You know, because being a Scorpio is not easy. We are constantly changing, constantly going through things, constantly ending cycles and starting new ones and transforming and evolving into different versions of ourselves. And it is so tiring and so exhausting. And sometimes I just, I just wish I was, I don't know. A Virgo or something because Virgos are just straightforward they just they know what they have to do and they do it and that's it they you know they're just they're go-getters and they're good at making their life stable and Scorpios have some trouble with that because we're all over the place and we want to do so much at once but we suck at multitasking but we don't realize that until we try to do a lot of things at once and then we fail at everything and then we start all over again because that's just our life. Uh, but yeah, learning about astrology just made me appreciate the fact that it exists. Like, because I believe in it 110%. I believe in astrology. I believe in the zodiac signs. And I believe that we are all um, created differently for the sake of coming together. And I know it might sound, I might sound crazy, but like we, we're all different for a reason. But those differences matter, and they have a, a foundation, they have a purpose, they have a meaning, they have a, a reason, really. Um, if someone tells you that they're a Cancer, then that, that means something. It's not just they're a Cancer, or it's not just they're a Leo or a Libra. Like It's not just a word, it's an actual set of characteristics that show up in their behavior and their thought patterns. And of course it gets more complicated because then there's the rising sign versus the the um the moon sign and the sun sign and the the sign in in mars and venus and you know like it gets complicated and i still don't have all the answers i learn a little bit every day and i hope to one day have a really good um concise idea of how it all works but I just can't help but be fascinated by the fact that we're all different and there's a reason for it. 
because when I was younger and I started to notice my Scorpio tendencies, I thought I was just complicated as as heck. I thought I was just a troubled person that was always going to be troubled and she was just born like that. And I guess technically I was just born like that. You know, I was born when I was born and that made me a Scorpio. But but learning about myself, learning about my zodiac sign, it just made things easier and things just made more sense, you know? The reason why I felt so much is because I was a Scorpio. The reason why I wanted to understand everything is because I'm a Scorpio. The reason why I am private and pensive and always in my head and, and I like to keep things to myself so it makes me seem secretive or mysterious, it, it's just because I'm a Scorpio. And it if you don't know enough about your own zodiac sign, what I'm saying right now isn't gonna like hit you. But if you know about your sign and you know who you are and why those two things you know kind of make sense then you get me you understand what i'm saying but yeah that that understanding and that's another thing scorpios love to understand things because of the fact that we are so misunderstood it's like we go all our lives thinking we're different and no one is going to understand us and that we're aliens that we just have this genuine and natural need to understand things you know because it's like well if no one's gonna understand us then we're gonna try to understand everyone else and that's what i love about astrology is that it really gives you insight into the the way people are and why they do what they do like in previous relationships i didn't understand why certain things didn't work out until i realized about their zodiac sign you know like some zodiac signs do not go well with others and that's just how it is but understanding that makes it so much easier to deal with situations because instead of saying oh me and this person didn't work out because we just didn't work out it's like okay we didn't work out because we just are not compatible in that way you know like our higher selves our spiritual beings are just not meant to be with with each other and that's just how it is and I rather think about things like that than say oh it didn't work out because this person is that and blah 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 or you know like it just it makes it it makes it better it, it makes understanding things easier and better and more um right I don't know am I making sense but yeah and in the workplace too like when you realize what certain people are it kind of just helps you understand why maybe you don't work well together or why you work really well with some people like for example me and cancers that is one dynamic duo i love cancers and i get along with them so well and again it it does get a little deeper because cancers and scorpios are both water signs so you know you just have to know if you don't know what i'm talking about then none of this is going to make sense to you but there's because there's different types of elements that go with the signs like fire signs are like leo sagittarius aries and then water signs are pisces scorpio cancer and then earth signs are taurus virgo uh i don't i don't know i don't know all of it yet just just i don't know all of it i don't have it all memorized i know what it means i just don't have it memorized but what i'm saying is that when certain zodiac signs get together they either go well or they don't because of the characteristics that are aligned with that sign but it changed my life mainly because of the understanding part i just understand people better i understand myself better and that is honestly the most satisfying there's nothing like understanding yourself so well that you you contribute to your own like healing process like there have been so many things in my life that i've gone through and at the time that I was going through them, I didn't understand why they happened the way they happened until I did some more soul searching and learning about myself as a person, as a Scorpio, whatever. And then, you know, I, I realized why I reacted the way that I did, why I behaved the way that I did, why I thought about things, why I perceived things a certain way. So it just changed my life because it broadened my understanding. And I think that's the biggest power that we have as humans is understanding. And when we do our our best in getting to know ourselves first then getting to know other people and and you know collaborating with other people as a society it just it just makes sense 
you know, it just makes a sense. And also there's there's a really nice community aspect to astrology like when you see that there are so many like-minded people you kind of start to feel less alone you know when you see that there are other people just as eager to learn about themselves and other people as you are then it's kind of like wow like that's really nice you know because i'm not the only one that's obsessed with just understanding things in that way and i feel like now more than ever people are becoming more open to opening their third eye you know and becoming like enlightened and spiritually awakened and i think that's really cool because we really need more more of that uh i don't think enough people in the world are are spiritually awakened yet i don't think people are opening up their third eye fast enough and basically what that means is you're just you're allowing energies from the universe to to open up your mind and broaden your perspective i sound i sound crazy but just trust me cuz we do we do a lot of our own decision making based on our own thinking and based on what we think is right and we believe we're following our intuition but a lot of times people make decisions based on like external things that aren't really meant for them you know like we'll we'll listen to our family members and our friends and our colleagues and our peers and we'll make decisions really based on that but we won't look so much as into our own you know soul and we won't really focus on our intuition as much as we could and that's the key is when you follow your intuition when you listen to your gut you you really like you dig deep and you will find the truth you know you will find the truth and if you follow your gut like you're more than likely going to make the better decision because you know what's best for you your soul knows what's best for you but you need help from guidance you know but not not like external people you need help from a higher a higher place a place that's that wants to help you that wants to give you insight that wants to protect you and and help you along the way um and i guess that kind of leads me into tarot i'm I'm also pretty into tarot and i actually am becoming a fanatic of of readings and doing readings myself and i'm not perfect but i i'm doing i'm doing what i can to understand as much as possible as fast as i can because i do want to start becoming more um involved in the tarot reading uh community but i really like tarot reading because it's so it's so cool like it's so insightful and people think that tarot reading is about looking into the future but it's not it's honestly just it's basically the messages you need to hear right then and there in order to help you make a better decision in, in order to give you a more um sound explanation for what's happening and why it's happening or what might happen but it's not it's not future telling it's just like insight it's just like guiding your intuition but i guess that's a whole other thing that i'm not totally uh prepared to explain properly yet i guess but astrology man astrology is where it's at i used to be so skeptical when i was younger my mom used to watch this with this one uh famous I think he's Puerto Rican, or he was Puerto Rican, rest in peace. Um, I'll probably put a picture somewhere if I can remember. But she used to watch, she used to watch this famous astrology person. And, you know, I was young, so I obviously didn't understand anything. But I would always see, see them, like, wearing these really fancy schmancy outfits and talking in a way that seemed like they knew how to do magic. And I always thought it was such a joke, and now that i look back at it it's like you know i i can't really say much because here i am and that's the thing like it's all about interpretation it's all about perception like not everything has to be so you know dramatic and it's not always so extra and it doesn't have to be so taboo and you know out of the norm and out of this world like it just is what it is we all have a zodiac sign we all were born 
in specific months on specific days at specific times and it contributes to who we are as a person and I just think that's really cool and it changed my life and now I understand myself better and other people and I guess that's all I really had to say so I hope you like this video if you do give it a like if you want to subscribe please subscribe and I will see you in the next one peace